In this lesson, we're going to be creating an in-place mask. Adding a curtain system to a straight wall is just boring. Adding a curtain system to a funky freeform shape is fun. The thing is, when we get into non-linear, non-uniform shapes, we need to think literally outside the box. That's where the Revit masking families comes into place. These have evolved over the years, and I have had a love-hate relationship with them. I hate them when they first come out, and I love them once I figure out how to use them. Luckily, you're taking a video tutorial, so <laughs> you can skip right to the love part. The objective of this lesson is to create a bumpy in-place mask using the masking tools that Revit provides. To get started, open the file you've been working on and follow along. In the project browser, let's make sure we're in the west elevation. On the quick access toolbar, let's go ahead and click close hidden windows if there's a little red X here. Again, on the quick access toolbar, let's click the 3D icon. Click into the drawing area and type WT. That's window tile. It's easier if we can see exactly what's going on. We're going to start adding shapes here and they're going to start showing up in 3D going back. What we need to do is start adding a different shape to each reference plane we had put in earlier. So let's get started. On the massing and site tab, go to show mass by form and floors. Now let's click on in place mass and this is going to actually start an in place family. The name will be structure. Click OK. Now here's what we want to do. We want to draw a nice arc that comes all the way across here at these reference planes and we want to draw a line across the bottom. All these shapes just like sketch mode need to be in completely closed loops with no gaps or overlaps. So click the model button. Immediately Revit wants to know what work plane we're working on and that's a great question. So we're going to come down here and say well we want to go to reference plane 1. Click OK. Click on start end radius arc. Let's zoom in here to make sure we're nice and tight. Click that intersection. Let's come all the way over here, pick this intersection. Now we're going to bring it right on up to here. Now we're still running. If you're not, make sure you have your chain turned on. Let's go ahead and click on the straight line. Let's run it back to here. Hit escape a couple times. Type ZA, you can pan around to kind of get a good view of what we're looking at here. Here's our first shape, pretty cool. Okay, now we need to manually set our reference plane because if we start drawing more lines, Revit's gonna think we want it on number one. We don't, we wanna move back now to number two. So click set. Notice once we click set, it shows us which plane it's on. Let's go to reference plane two and it's going to move it back. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm, I'm going to orient myself in the correct direction just to make sure I'm good. Now, let's start another shape. So again, go to Model. Go to Start End Radius Arc. Now I'm going to pick the same end point here. Now I'm going to pick the same end point here. This time I'm going to go way up to here. Now I'm going to draw a straight line back to here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Let's keep rolling. Set. Let's go to reference plane three. Hit OK. Model. Let's sketch something out. Start end radius. I'm going to go from here. Make sure that you're on the same point to here. This time I'm just going to bring it up to this one. I'm going to do the straight line to here. I'm going to hit escape. You can kind of get a look in 3D. It's going to be neat, neat. OK, 
Okay, let's set it back to four. Hit OK. Let's go to model. Let's go to start end radius arc. I'm going to pick the same point. I'm going to pick this point. This time I'm going way up top. I'm going to draw a straight line. I'm going to bring it back to here. Hit escape a couple times. Let's set our reference plane. Let's go to five. Two more. Hit OK. Model. Start end radius arc. Same point. Same point. This time I think I'll pick this one. I'm going to go with a straight line. Bring it back to here. Hit escape a couple times. One last time. Set. Reference plane 6. Click OK. Start and radius arc. Same points. This time I'm going to go to the lowest one. I'm going to go with line. I'm going to click this end point. Now I'm going to hit escape a couple times. I'm going to go into my 3D view and double click on the blue area and make sure this is the current window. This is going to be a funky shape. What we need to do is hold down the control key and select one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you don't miss any like I just did. Now just simply click create form. And Rabbit's going to create that form. It's pretty funky. So what we need to do now is just click on finish mass. Just to make sure Revit has it formed in there. And it's a little bit transparent now, but we can change that. With it still selected, click Edit in Place. Let's change our view style to Shaded. It's a little bit hard to see, but once we get a curtain system on it, it won't be too bad. Go ahead and select it. Generally, I'll try to grab it from the bottom, wherever you see the whole thing outline. Now, this will highlight it. What we want to do now is click on Divide Surface. Now we can start to kind of spell out what it's going to look like a little bit. It's going to look cool is what it's going to look like. So what I want to do is the border tile. Let's go partial. All grid rotation. Let's go 45 degrees. Let's scroll down to the U grid. The layout. Let's go with maximum spacing. And the distance, let's go with four feet. Grid rotation, let's go 45 degrees. Let's keep scrolling down. The V grid, which is the opposite direction. Let's go with fixed distance. The distance will be four feet. And the grid rotation, let's make that 45 and hit apply. Scroll down. Looks good. Wow. That's coming out really cool. If we click off of it or hit escape, what we can do is click finish mass. And then we've got it. We've got the form started. We're in great shape. Now that's a funky shape. I suppose it wasn't too free form. Just remember, you can pretty much draw out any shape you want and form them together. 